so welcome back today we are talking about contour lines contour lines are the lines passing through equal elevation equal elevation you know isotherms are lines passing through equal temperature isobars are lines which pass through equal pressure same concept contour lines are the lines passing through equal elevations when you do a leveling if this is the plot you are doing the elevation or leveling process if you can find some points which are having same elevation 100 meters say 100 meters and if you can connect these points and this line can be called as a contour line okay and the main advantage of this contour line is you can make a map which can represent the data which are normally not represented by mutual maps you can represent elevation data in a map that is the main advantage of contour map which are made from contour lines okay so that is the core idea and it is fairly easy to understand so suppose this is a hill okay and the elevation is 100 meters and this elevation is 110 meters this is 120 this is 130 meters 130 meters the contour map can be drawn like this it will be somewhere like this if this is the uh, paper or the map we will be drawing in there will be a line called 100, 130 line okay, 130 meters from a vessel will be somewhat like this 130 okay the cross section of the this elevated piece of hill okay this is a hill and 120 this cross section area this circular area as a hill this will be somewhat like okay and 110 line will be somewhat like closer to this area so something like this okay so 110 will be 100 line will be some will somewhat like this okay so this is the contour map of this hill looked from the top okay so you can understand the topography of this hill from a 2d map it is a 2d map okay so you can fairly understand with this portion will be the most elevated portion this portion will be the most lowest point of that area okay so this contour maps are widely used in surveying for the construction of roads canals dams all along the engineering projects contour maps are very useful for finding sites uh, calculation of man works uh, cutting and filling of land etc okay so these are contour maps this is the most simplest of contour map and this is a contour map of a hill okay so i hope you understand so contour line is an imagined line which connects points with equal elevation maps with contour lines are called contour maps this is a typical example for contour maps okay another example and the bottom portion is the map and top portion will be the 3d figure of which map is drawn so we are moving on to characteristics of contours it's the main topic there are almost 14 characteristics so first one contour lines must close close not necessarily in the limits of the plan that means as you can see in here all the contour lines will be closing but will not not necessarily inside the plan some lines will be closing outside the plan 
okay as you can see in the map second one horizontal distance between any two contour lines indicates the amount of slope and varies inversely on amount of slope okay so with a uh, two lines if two contour lines are closer together it means a steep slope on the left side you can see on that one if the lines are far apart it will be a gentle slope that is mean by the inversely proportional relation so 3 to 6 can be considered all together widely spaced contour indicates flat surface closely spaced indicates steep slope equally spaced indicates uniform and irregular indicates uneven okay same concept of second it is a derivative of second point as you can see if it is closely spaced it is steep it is if it is widely spaced it is flat if it is uniformly spaced it is a uh, if uh, uniformly spaced it will be a uniform slope if it is too uh, varying it will be uneven area okay seventh point approximately concentric closed contours with decreasing values towards center indicates a pond as in this diagram they are concentric circles closing and its value is decreasing towards the center and it is a it will be a constant contour map of a pond and next one eighth one approximately concentric closed contours with increasing values towards center indicates hills as given in this image the values are increasing towards the center same all the other things are similar to pond just the values are increasing towards the center other than decreasing so it is a hill as we had explained in the video okay next two characteristics can also be tied together contour lines with u shape with convexity towards lower ground indicates ridge and convex v shape with convexity towards higher ground indicates valley okay those are the two kinds of different different kinds of topography which can be expressed similar ways as you can see in the image the convexity towards lower one will be a ridge and the uh, convexity towards the higher one v shaped will be a valley okay last four 11th one contour lines generally do not meet or intersect each other if contour lines are meeting at some point it shows the existence of a vertical cliff normally these lines do not intersect but as you can see in this figure in the elevation it is a vertical cliff so there will be overlapping of a number of contour lines in a single point so meeting can be assumed next one contours of different elevations cannot cross each other if they cross each other it shows existence of overhanging cliff or cave as you can see it is a, a more modified more portion of cliff it is a, if it is a cave you can see contour lines overlapping or crossing each other only in the case of overhanging cliffs or cave 13th one the steepest slope of terrain at any point on a contour is represented along the normal of the contour at that point if you take a point and you want to find out the steepest line from that point it will be the direction normal to the contour map or contour line passing through that point okay and the last one no contour lines will be passing through permanent structures such as buildings no contour, uh, permanent structures usually it is too unnecessary and too tedious to work on contour maps in a building or any other structures so we won't be allowing it so those are the 14 characteristics of contours and then we move on to methods of contour survey there are direct methods and indirect methods let's move on to the video so how do you draw a contour map okay so you can take two methods either direct methods or indirect methods okay so direct method we will be taking if this is the plot area it is a very tedious method and it will be taking a long time to complete okay so we will be uh, fixing on a, an elevation if suppose 100 meters okay we will find every point which is having 100 meters height each point each of these daughters will be 100 meters and we will connect it with the line then we will fix on another elevation 110 we will find all the points 
which are having 110 meter elevation using dumbbell level and leveling star we will connect this point so it is a very tedious process to find out all these lines and you have to find out each and every point in this plot to get a contour map and you have to uh, examine the whole plot if the plot gets bigger the work will be longer and longer okay if it is a two acre three acre plot the work may take many days okay so that is direct methods normally we, we adopt indirect methods indirect method there are three kinds first one method of squares method of square is very fairly simple it is we take a plot we divide that plot into a number of squares okay, a number of squares with equal intervals if it is 1 meter it will be 1 meter all along okay so we will divide the plot into a set of squares and then measure levels of each of these points all these points will be measuring levels so there will be uh, levels of 99 in here 100 in here 101 in here 100 in here 102 uh, in here okay so you can find all the values and we are not bothering about the inside of squares we are just finding out the four corners of all the squares okay so after finding all the squares uh, vertical corner points level values we come to the office and then interpolate our values if you want 100 meter contour line we will just join these two points with a smooth line okay if you want 101 we will join this point if you want 10 say 110 and suppose the values uh, if this is 109 and 111 you will the, that point will be passing through the mid points okay so such that we will be finding points like this by interpolation not by direct contact we will be inter interpolating assuming that the variation of elevation will be uniform along this sides of squares okay so i hope that it is clear we will be dividing the area into squares perfect squares and we are taking all the levels in the corners only and we will interpolate and find out the contour lines okay all the lines will be interpolated in methods of squares okay so that was method of squares in indirect method to find contour mapping second one method of cross sections okay it is similar method in this we will be taking cross sections normally it is done for railways roads canals etc longitudinal works okay cross sections and then we will take after longitudinal measuring we will be taking cross sectional measurements and in that cross sectional lines we will be measuring levels all these circle points we will be measuring levels and then again we will be interpolating to find out we suppose 109, 111 110 line will be like this 120 line will be something like this 130 140 etc okay so this is method of cross section okay we will take a longitudinal line and we will take a number of cross section with equal interval maybe 1 meter 1 meter 1 meter etc equal intervals and we will take all the levels on selected points and then we will interpolate to get contour lines okay last one third one radial line methods 
and this method is pro most probably used, most commonly used for hilly areas where uh, very uneven uh, elevation can be found. Okay, well, inter visibility is too less uh, on hills, very uh, idki binary areas. We will be doing radial line methods, and this midpoint will be taken at a higher level. In a ridge point or a, at the peak of a mountain, we will be taking a center point and then we will take radial lines like this. These are called radius radial lines, and on these radial lines with equal intervals, we will be measuring obviously levels. We will measure levels. It is not normally used in level lands or uh, coastal areas. It, will, it is mainly used on highlands or hilly areas. And then again, we will be interpolating and find out contour maps. Okay. So these are the methods of finding out or methods of construction of contour maps. Direct methods, which is very tedious. You will have to measure all the points in your plot and it can take a lot of time and indirect methods were we use method of squares method of cross section radial line method okay i hope you understand thank you